Hello, I'm Mike, the Education Coordinator and Science Person here at WGVU. And I'm going to talk to you, I'm not going to do a live demo today. Instead, we're going to talk about the WGVU Kids Invention Contest that we currently have running. And it runs until February 28th, so there's still some time to get it in for those of you that are interested in doing it. And more information can be found at wgvu.org slash kidinvention. And I actually have our very first WGVU Kid Invention Contest winner, and I'd like to introduce Lane. Congratulations on being a WGVU Kid Inventor. And she invented, you want to wave to the camera? Yeah, here. All right, she invented what's called the Sick Kit. So she's gonna tell us a little bit about it and just how did you come up with the idea for the Sick Kit? I came up with the idea for the Sick Kit when I was sick and um, they all got mad at me because I would leave my tissues in the crack of the couch. <laughs> and, um, and so I was supposed to be sleeping in my bed and um, I was at my desk and I created this. And my daughter, I was telling Lane, my daughter does the exact same thing where she would blow her nose and throw the tissue somewhere else. <laughs> so what problem does it really solve then? Um, just not like being dirty and it could, may, could supposedly help you get like better sooner, I guess. Absolutely. As long as they're like not all over the house and it has some hand sanitizer right here that you can use. Yep, just in case you get that you don't want the germs and it's a perfect time for this because there's a lot of colds and flu bugs going around and that's for sure. Um, how does, I guess basically, are there any problems that you encountered when you built the invention? Well, yeah, on the first one, um, the elastic that I had on the, the first one wouldn't keep this in place, so on the second one I added the Velcro and the platform on it just, you know, to keep it in. And then the noisemaker I had on the first one was like a little container with like beads in it, but this one I had a bell and I just put it on there and I felt like it would make more noise. <laughs> just something to keep everybody in wake in case they need to know that you're not feeling good or something. Yeah, right? if you like wanted something. Very good. And how did you hear then really about the invention contest? Well, it was an ad on um, the TV and well, we paused it and we went online and um, just did the survey and then we, you know, the, now we're here. F and, yep, and you are here and she is. She's our very first kid inventor contest <laughs> winner. So there's other ones that we can still take. So please go to the website, wgvu.org slash kid invention and go ahead and enter the contest. Um, any plans to continue your invention, inventing stuff? I was thinking about it, yeah, I could do like a couple more inventions. I just need to come up with the right ideas because lots of the time I come up with ideas in the shower and then just manage to forget them because you can't really have paper in the shower. Yeah, and it doesn't work. Unless you could invent something that would make that work. Right, Then it right. could be that's perfect. A, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave you your next idea for your invention maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. All right, well again, congratulations to Lane for being our first WGVU kid inventor. Way to go, Lane, all right. Thanks for watching this week's A Few Moments in Science.